We know that teams always deliver better care. They actually use the scope of practice, the knowledge, the skills of all of those uh, team members to their maximum. And so when we moved here, we created a very different service model where we were going to be collaborating with the team. So our staff, so our physiotherapists, our occupational therapists, our social workers, our speech therapists, our therapy assistants, our psychologists, our audiologists, all of our staff is embedded in the teams. So what that means is on clinic day, our staff is there. So they work as a team to ensure that the patient is receiving the care from the most appropriate provider or team of providers based on their needs. So what we've done is we've assigned people to units, so not only to the clinics, but to the inpatient unit. We've had the opportunity to, to say, Unit 66, this is your team. This is your regular occupational therapist, social worker, therapy assistant, physiotherapist, and they live on the unit. Unit 68, the same thing. All the units have their core team of therapists that live on the unit. So that to me is collaboration. They meet with the physician and the nurses on the team on a regular basis. They create a plan for that patient, whether they're inpatients or outpatients. It's a team plan on how to meet the patient's needs. So it may be daily, it may be um, a couple of times a week that you know, portions of that team will, will have a discussion with that family on a more regular basis and uh, they will see the interaction and the discussion between those team members and allow that patient to understand a little bit what each of those team members contributes to their care. It's not one little person doing one thing on one side and one little person doing something else on the other end and so it's much more meaningful to the patient, much better service, much better satisfaction for everybody involved.